today I want to show you a couple of things that I've recently learned um, with Facebook, um, specifically things that are centered around our privacy and things that we're okay with the public seeing on our profile and things that we're not okay with them seeing. So let's say you're not sure exactly what the public can see on your profile. There's a really easy way to check. What you do is come up here to this little lock symbol at the top and you click on that and click on who can see my stuff. Now this is a great check section to check out sometime. Um, these are all privacy shortcuts and various things that you might want to know about privacy and, and how to set your privacy. But for now we're going to go to who can see my stuff because we want to know what the public can see on our profile. When we click on that, look right down here, the third option, what do others see on my timeline? And you click on view as. Now the default when you click on view as is public. So you can look up here and it says this is what your timeline looks like to public. You can change it to, to view as a specific person, um, but, and we'll do that in a moment. But for now, we want to see what the public can see on our profile. So you can scroll down. There's some information here that the public can see, um, and there's some things here that the public can see. But you can see there's a whole bunch of things missing. So I must have my privacy settings um, set to only allowing the public to see certain things. But I notice there's this photo here. I might not want them to see. Um, we're, we're going to see what else they can see. So you can click around, you can see, click on about and see exactly what they can see. I see that I have my settings set so the public can't see all these things about me. Um, only my friends can see those things. You could click on friends. <clears throat> I have my settings so the public can't see um, my friend lists. And you can click on photos. Now this is the part that I really wanted to check. I wanted to see which photos the public can see. So there aren't a lot, but I'm going to click on albums just to check. Oh, and I see there's some here in profile pictures. So let me look, and I see there's only three in profile pictures that are visible to the public, and I have a lot more than that. So that's pretty good, but I'm, I don't want the public to see these three either, so we're going to change that. You can scroll down and look at other albums. If I click on mobile, I see there are no photos, which is a privacy setting because I definitely have some photos in there. Cover photos, I'm going to click on that. The only one they can see is the current one. Um, and that's a default. If you don't want people to see your, your cover photo, which is this big one up here, then just set it to something. Maybe don't have a cover photo or set it to something pretty generic. Notice that my profile picture doesn't actually appear, so that's good. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to, let's see, where was the album? The album was profile pictures. I can see that right here. And I can, again, I can see that the public can see these three photos. And I don't want them to see those photos. So there are a couple things you can do. <clears throat> let's say that I was okay with the public seeing these two photos, but I didn't want them to see the photo of me. Then you can go, oh wait, one thing I want to show you first is, so we have this set to public. Let's say you wanted to see what a specific person could see. So I'm going to put in here a name of some one of my friends who can see everything. And you can I put their name in and hit enter, and now I can see that there's a lot of different things that they can see on my profile now, a whole bunch more. They could see things in my um, timeline. There's more information here. If I clicked on about, on friends, they could see my friend list. They could see more things about me. So it's clearly working. Um, there are a lot of things the public can't see. But now let's get back to those pictures. So what I can do is go into my own profile and I can go into my photos. And I know that those photos were in an album called Profile Pics, which is right here, Profile Pictures. <clears throat> and here's one of those photos. I remember that this was one of the photos that people could see. And if you look up here, you can see with this little globe icon, that it is in fact set to public. Let me show you how that's different from another photo. Here, see this little icon? This shows me that only my friends can see this photo. So I'm gonna go back in and change this one to just friends. So if I click on this little icon, I can change it here. You can see there's a check mark next to public, which means the public can see that, but I only want my friends to see it. So I'm gonna click on friends and you can see the icon changed and I can close that out. Now, if I want to check to make sure it worked, you could click on this little lock sign again up here. And again, you can go back to who can see my stuff. 
and view as. And now again, what this is what your timeline looks like to public. I'm going to go back and look in photos to see what the public can see. And I'm going to click on albums and profile pictures. And you can see that now only these two photos are here because I changed the privacy settings on that one photo so people cannot see that photo anymore. But now let's say you actually don't want the public to see any of your prior photos or any of your prior posts. So you want to make everything private. There's a really easy way to do this. You don't have to go to every single photo and make it private. Let's go back to this little lock and let's go to see more settings. And notice now we're on a, a privacy settings and tools page and we know we're on the privacy section because it's lit up over here. And look at this section here, who can see my stuff? So I see that my future posts, who can see your future posts? Friends, I have that set to friends, so that's good. That's not set to public. But then if we look at this third option here, limit the audience for posts you've shared with friends of friends or public. So that means things that you've shared in the past with public or things that you've shared in the past that friends of friends can see. So maybe people who aren't your friends, but they're your friends' friends. You want to limit those posts. So you just click here on limit past posts and you click on limit old posts. So what this is telling you here is that if you use this tool, um, content on your timeline that you've shared with friends of friends or public will change to friends. So this is saying that everything that you've shared is going to change to only your friends now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on limit old posts because I don't want the public to see anything that I've shared before. And I, I, actually, I did this recently, and that's why so many of my things were set to private. Um, so if you want to be super, super private, this is something you can certainly do. So you click on limit old posts, and it asks, are you sure you want to proceed? You're about to limit old posts on your timeline without reviewing them. Now, as I mentioned, if you want some things to be public and some things to be private, you can go through and review them one at a time to make sure that um, you know some of the things are public and, and you can change some of them to private. But if you want everything to be private, then this is, this is what you want to do. And then you click on confirm and it says the audience for the selected content has been changed. And in this case, the selected content is everything. So you click close. And again, if you want to check it, go back to this little lock. Who can see my stuff? View as. This is what it looks like to public. Now again, we're going to go back and look at those photos and the albums, and this was my profile pictures, and you can see now there aren't any because I changed the setting. Now everything that I posted in the past is going, is going to be visible only to my friends and not to the public. So one more time, click on this little lock, who can see my stuff, view as, here it's automatically set to public. You can change it to a specific person to see what specific people, uh, your friends, what they can see. And then if you want to change everything, you go back to the little lock, see more settings, and we're in privacy. Who can see my stuff? Limit the audience for posts you've shared. Limit past posts. This will change everything. All of your past posts, this will change it. And right here, who can see your future posts? Make sure if you don't want the public to see your future posts, make sure you set that to friends as well. And again, here you, it's easy. You just go to edit. And then right here, if it's set to public, you can change it to friends. I'm going to leave it on friends because that's where, that's who I want to see all of my future posts.